Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will explore how to get started with class diagrams inside Visual Studio 2022. Class diagrams are a great way to visualize, design, and refactor your code. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have it. So let's get into it then. First, we need to ensure that the class that the class designer component is installed. To do that, let's open the Visual Studio installer. So let's go ahead. I'm going to close this bit here. Let's go to Tools and go to Get Tools and Features. So this will actually open the Visual Studio installer. So let's let's wait for it to for things to get ready. So I will just pause the video while the whole thing. Okay, so it's opened. So once we've we've actually opened the Visual Studio installer, let's click on individual components. So here we'll be able to install components individually. So we look for the class designer. So instead of just um, scrolling down, let's type in class designer. So as you can see here now, I've got class designer here. So let's check this box. So this actually requires just five megabytes of space. But before we continue, make sure you close the, uh, if you have Visual Studio open, make sure you close it. So now that it's actually closed the Visual Studio, so let's go ahead and click on modify. So this will install while downloading, yeah? So let's click on it here. So this might take a few seconds. Let's accept this. So it, it will take some few moments to actually download and install. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just pause it for the whole thing to complete. Then we open the Visual Studio again. So now that we've got the, the class designer installed, let's go ahead and launch the Visual Studio again. Okay, <clears throat> the Visual Studio is taking, okay, was taking a bit longer. So now let's go ahead and create a new project. So here, obviously we're going to create a console app. So let's try and type in console. So here, we're going to use the console app.net framework, not the first one. Okay, so make sure you select for the, I mean, for this video, you can, you can select the first one, but for this video, let's go ahead and select the console.net framework. Click on the next. So here you can, you can configure your project, but we're not going to look too much into that. So let's click on the create. So as you can see here now, we have we have a very simple console app created for us. Okay. So what we would do next is we're going to go we're going to go ahead and add um, some stuff to it. Yeah. Just for video, this video sake. So we're going to add a new class. Yeah. We're going to call this. It's a public class. We're going to call this product. So it's a very simple product. We're just going to add some few bits. Uh, we're going to add some few properties here. Yeah? So public int. So it's ID. Just going to leave it as it is here. Yeah? So public. Just press tab to get this, this whole thing resolved. So public string is a description of the product. Yeah, so we're just going to leave it as it is here. I'm not going to put too much, okay? So it seems the class has not been closed, okay? Class, the closure. No. Okay, so we've closed the class. So we add another one here. So this, this one uh, is a public class. 
uh, we're going to call this uh, category. So here, first we're going to set the product, the, the category ID, and we're going to add another public. So I mean. So the category ID, so we're just going to remove the ID. We're not going to need it, yeah? And obviously, add another one for the name, the name of the category, OK? Uh, OK, for some reason, OK, so now we've got two classes, the product and then the and then category so we can add one more bit here so public uh i collection of product so we're just going to call this products here so this is all we're going to do for here for now so so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the product yeah I'm just going to pause it for a minute. So, okay, we click on the products. And then we click on this bit here, this brush here. And we're going to move it to product.cs. Okay, so as you can see here now, we've got product.cs created for us. So we do the same to the category, okay? So here, we move it to category.cs. So the, uh, the category.cs file has been created for us, okay? So what we do is we right-click on the products. So now, as you can see here now, it's got view class diagram. So we click on the view class diagram. So as you can see here now, it's actually got a the class diagram created for us, OK? So we can just move it here a bit, OK? So let's expand it. So as you can see here, we've got the properties inside the class diagram. OK, so let's, we can add the categories categories by just dragging and dropping it inside here. So as you can see here now, we've, we also have the, the categories, OK? So basically, to be able to create the relationship between the product and the category from the class diagram, we can, as you can see here, we've got a collection of products here. So we can right click on it here, and then we can show as a, as a collection association. So here, obviously, we've got the the products pointing, to, I mean, from the category pointing to uh, the products. Yeah. So this is how we actually we actually create um, uh, the the link between the two objects or the two classes. Okay. So from here, I hope you can go on. You can go ahead and then I mean do a lot. I mean go ahead, follow it, and then. And then and then work further. Okay. So now I'm going to leave it here as this is just to get you started in terms of being able being able to use the the class diagram inside a Visual Studio 2022. So basically, if you have any issues, please make sure you drop a line. Please like the video. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you subscribe to the channel because I've got lots of videos coming up. And if you want to, you can also join the, the channel membership for more attention, obviously. So have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.